Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the build 22631.3880 for version 23H2 or code KB5040442. This is the past Tuesday or the July 2024 update for the main release. In this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 update for the main release. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with notification bell activated. So that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, when you are installing this update, you may notice a new screen after you update to this build where Microsoft is trying to make you switch the default browser from any browser that you have to Microsoft Edge. Tom Warren posted about this on Twitter. So you're gonna have a screenshot that is from his Twitter and you can see how this screen looks. And basically you're gonna have an option automatically selected, use Microsoft recommended settings. Basically this will change the Microsoft Edge as your default browser, but you can always select don't update your settings. So just be careful if you don't want to change your default browser, make sure to read out all the options that you get after you install this build. Also, Microsoft is stating that Home and Pro editions of Windows 11 version 22H2 will reach end of support on October 8, 2024. So you should update to 23H2 at least if you are on those builds. So of course, the patch Tuesday will start the rollout or will extend the rollout of some features that were part of the C release for the month of June. So for example, you may notice a new game pass recommendation card and settings, the new show desktop button automatically enabled, also some new options related to compression, emoji 15.1, new updates and improvements related to the sharing section of Windows, and so on. I'm not going to go in depth with it. If you want to check all those out, you can check out the article below or the previous video that I've done about those. Of course, in this build, Microsoft is adding a lot of security improvements. You can check out their blog post for an in-depth view of what was done. And in this update, there is also a known issue. You might not be able to view or interact with the taskbar after you install the update KB5039302. This issue occurs on devices that run the Windows N edition. This edition is like other editions but lacks most media related tools. The issue also occurs if you turn off media features from the control panel. We're also getting the latest Windows 11 service and stack update which will ensure that you can easily install and of course reliably install Microsoft or Windows updates. So as I've said if you're interested in more information make sure to check out the article below and of course previous videos that I've done related to the Windows 11 main release if you want to learn Learn more info. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.